Okay, so this is the first clip I've recorded today. I'm not sure what the last update was, so I'm just going to summarise in general. Um, so I mined 2k pure essence, uh, superheated about 250 iron ore, um, and since then I have been mining iron again. We have mined almost 600 iron. It took me about an hour and a half. We're getting a good amount of mithril ore. This is going to be useful to me in the future uh, of smithing. Um, you know, it's good to pre-prepare a little bit of adamant as well. Uh, we're going to go smith these in the mid just for the experience. Um, we're also on the way with arrowheads. We're going to go buy out the shops of feathers uh, wherever I can find them at some point. Um, I don't think it's worth killing... Um, chickens I, I mean i may do it for an hour and just see how many i can get but we do have um some feathers but we just need to buy more out we'll buy some at the port Sarim shop um as far as that goes we uh we did a little bit more nature runes it's, it's just monotonous I, i've done a lot of this over the years so it just um you know rune crafting gets extremely monotonous it's a lot more enjoyable than doing rune span um, actually, you know what? No, it's not, because Runespan is extremely AFK, so um, may maybe not. Um, however, we just hit, I believe, 41 mining. Um, yeah, maybe one or two inventories to 42. Uh, mining is a bitch, uh, but I'm enjoying it at the minute. When I get into a rhythm with mining, I don't want to stop. So what we're actually going to do is take a short break from mining. It won't take long. Um, let's go ahead and actually change up our game settings here. Uh, my interface is it? No, it'll be here. Uh, it'll be legacy interface. Yeah, we'll go back to the legacy interface. Um, I skill on the uh, resizable mode of the uh, EOC um, interface, so uh, I have a bigger map down here, um, or I suppose it would be actually further down on my screen, but uh, it means I can one one click to the oars and then one click back to the bank instead of having to. Uh, it just makes it more AFK, makes it more in, uh, makes it more convenient for me. Um, I'll actually, go ahead and cut this real quick. Um, but yeah, the uh, the goal right now, as I said a minute ago, and went off on a tangent, which will happen a lot in this series. I'm sure you're used to it by now. I've probably done it a lot um, as I did then. Is to uh, go and mage some of the cockroaches, some of the uh, the soldiers, I believe it is, the highest level ones that they have, um, in order to get some carapace, make some boots, sell it for gold, we'll, make a, we'll maybe make about 100, get 30k, boost us up to 57k, um, and then go buy a rune pickaxe just to speed up productivity with mining. It's a lovely drop of around 500 flax, 491. Sorry about the uh, the screen resolutions because I'm playing in uh, resizable mode, but that's nice. It's rather nice. I'm not even here for that, but it's nice to get. Almost done here, though. Looky here. We get ourselves a rune scimitar. Very nice. Um, there is not a very high percentage drop rate for rune items from here. There really isn't. So, um, I'm going to keep this. Uh, hopefully we get a placeholder that we can out, but we're going to keep it because, well, as soon as we get 50 attack, we're going to be able to use rune items. Uh, so our only gripe now is to get a decent offhand weapon. And there is an offhand weapon that you can get, which will be the offhand rune mace, which we can get from um, uh, either... Order of Ascension creatures, which will not be possible for me for a long time, till I get um, Armadale and Armadale crossbows, which we'll do eventually, um, and Aberrant Spectres, which are closer to, uh, you know, obviously doing God Wars, so, <laughs> you know, God Wars won't be uh, that far away, it'll be far, it's, it's a while, but not, not that far away, because... Uh, just because of all the other bosses that have uh, that have come into the game, all the uh, all the older sort of old school bosses become easier and easier as they add new tiers of weapons and new bosses that drop elite gear. So uh, it's good times. Um, but yeah, no, that's a nice little drop to get. So that's our weapons sorted.
Now, if I'm not mistaken, that should be exactly 1,000 iron ore mined. It's about two and a half hours of work mining iron. Um, I'm not the most efficient miner, although I did not take uh, a lot of break. Don't get it wrong. A hey, exactly 1,000. That means we need to make another 669. Uh, nature runes. Now we have the essence for it. We're probably gonna do that. Um, and then once we've obviously done that, we'll do the next step, which will be to superheat uh, 1000 iron ore, which will give us, I believe, uh, 35,000 uh, magic experience, which will boost me up. I'm gonna guess. Hmm. Five levels? Six levels, maybe? No, not six levels. Five levels. Three or four, uh, at the least. But it will be nice. It won't quite be worth the time if that's what I was doing it for, but uh, luckily that's not why I was doing it for Magic XP. I'm doing it for a mixture of magic, mining, smithing, and, yeah, experience. Along with a little bit of combat whilst killing those cockroaches. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've been playing RuneScape 3 now for about 5 hours and uh, if you've been watching the episodes then you'll be aware that that is not normal for me. So I'm going to take a breather, um, I'm going to go cook some uh, some very some very good food, I'm going to settle down, maybe watch the rest of my film, I've been watching a bit of Lord of the Rings, you don't, you don't give a shit. Anyway, I will, uh, yeah, I'll talk to you fuckers later. Okay, so about an hour and a half of room crafting, and uh, I believe that is a thousand uh, nature runes finished. Uh, we now have some superheating to do to give us a couple of magic levels and some smithing levels later on. I think you actually get some smithing experience whilst superheating as well, so that's always nice. I'm not actually sure. Let's just hope this is actually enough or the right amount of nature runes to make it 1,000. It is. Right. Let's stick them in the same tab. Okay, where's my... There it is. Okay, let's get to superheating already. And that should mark the end of my superheating. 1,000 iron bars. Lovely. Right, let's go and... Do you want to smith them now? I don't know if I want to smith them now. I mean, I could smith them now. It would just... I don't know. I want to transition trans, transition this into more fletching experience. It's just a good idea. However, I'll be honest. I'm going to get, like, one of two different types of log out. I'm not sure if I can make arrow shafts. I can make arrow shafts. Can I make them with these? Good, you could just make a lot more arrow shafts with each one. That's good shit. Alright, we're going to go and actually do some... Hold on. Are there any quests that give fletching experience that will get me up to sort of 20 or 30? Because it's just... It's like an hour ball ache to um, go chopping normal logs. Uh, actually, let's just have a look at this. Um, one, nine, the... Uh, at 10 we can make a shield bow, and then we need to go to 20 to make that. Okay, so what? what's the first level that we can make? Anything oak, oak, 20. Yeah, I don't know, man. Okay, so I've come to a realisation that I do want to do um, woodcutting for now. I need to woodcut. For, uh, for certain, not, not just for certain quest requirements, but for also smithing. Um, so there's a couple of steps that we need to take before that. Oh shit, I meant to sell this. Uh, first off, doesn't this look like a fucking normal like hatchet? I just bought it looking at it because I'm an idiot. Um, right, so if I can remember this rightly, I'm an idiot, I'm an idiot, I'm an idiot. I have to go and do Death Plateau in order to get climbing boots. I'll use the climbing boots to do the troll stronghold quest and then after the troll stronghold quest I'll kill troll generals um, and hopefully they drop 
a uh, certain level of hatchets and they have a chance to drop granite uh, shields, I believe, or granite items, um, which will be good. So let's, uh, let's go do that. I'll be back in one second. Death Plateau. Excellent. Finished Troll Stronghold and these give 10,000 experience for each. I'm thinking of putting one in Dungeoneering. Ah, it's just such a good idea. We've got Dungeoneering and then we could put it in... We can't put it in Fletching. Fuck. So you can only put it in things that you have less than 30 of. Well, sorry, no. You must choose a skill which you already have level 30. Okay. Oh, should we go and... Anything close to 30 that we're going to need? Looks like it's not. Alright, we're going to go dunge. That is, uh... That is so good. 20k dungeoneering experience. Should I go for another 10k? Because it won't even get me up to 40. Should we put it in this? Uh, rune crafting maybe. We're going to go with attack. Just a good idea to get up to 40, use the adamant. Uh... Yeah, good stuff. Um, right, now we have to kill Troll Generals for a hatchet. So, my Adamant Axe is going to come from Troll Generals, and my Mithril one is going to come from Giant Rock Crabs. I'm closer to the Troll Generals, so we're going to go and do that now. Um, we might as well just bury these for now. Um, we won't really need much food. We'll need something, but not much. Uh, you don't really get hit there at all. Sorry, it's my phone going off in the background. Yeah, they don't really touch you. So we are 30 generals into uh, into trying to get the adamant axe or hatch it, I suppose. I'm an 07 kid. Um, I'm not even an 07 kid, but still, yeah, we are we are not really getting anywhere very fast. Um, I suppose we're getting like a bit of everything. We're getting some lore runes, which is nice. We're getting some charms. I suppose the gold charms are nice. Um, on a main, you can be sort of fussy on what type of charms you want to get, but on an Iron Man, I feel like it's just you take the fucking charms and supplies that you can get. Hence why I'm picking up big bones. I just want to get to the point where I can get a tier 60 staff, and then I can kill dragons. Uh, we need to do Dragon Slayer, and it's just such a bull lake. Dragon Slayer is an easy quest that requires like 32 quest points, and I just haven't got that yet. I even think I've got like 25 yet, so it's just like a ball lake, and I hate doing quests, it's just like the one part of the game that I despise, so uh, you know, fuck it, some quests are fun, um, like the new Rune Mysteries quest is quite fun, it's quite enjoyable, because there's like quite a lot of updated graphics and things like that, any any like quest that was released in the past like two or three years is pretty good, but prior to that they're just like, you know, it's doing it again, maybe if it was the first time I was doing it, maybe I would enjoy them, but it's not, so... <sighs> Let's shield drop before we get... Uh... I'm 80 kills in. And uh, needless to say... Fucking bored. Um, yeah, as far as a mithril... Axe, there was one way I could get it, I forgot, I may have mentioned it earlier on. Uh, the other way was to do um, animal magnetism, get the uh, get the rune hatchet through there. But, I don't know, dude. You need a rune hatchet for that, actually, I think, or do you acquire it during? I forget. I actually forget. Because it did say on a website that you require it through Animal Magnetism. Although I've never done Animal Magnetism on RS3. All the accounts I've done it on have been pre-EOC. Like it's that long ago. I don't know man. I don't fucking know. Okay now I'm getting annoyed. <laughs> Give me. This is like an hour and a half I've been here now. Give me my fucking... Axe. That was literally the next kill. That was next kill. That was. That is asshole. Give me my fucking adamant hatchet. Give me a second. I'm going to go check the fucking drop table. If it does not drop, I trusted Reddit. I sh probably shouldn't have, but give me a second. 
So, I'm here on RuneScape Wiki. It definitely exists. In fact, it has the same rarity as the Mithril Plate body, which is which I've already got. Uh, Adamant Shield is uncommon. I thought that would be rarer. Because I haven't got any of them. Um, the Avento and the Irrit are all also rare drops, which... We'll have a look here. We... Uh, we have two, and then the third there, along with this rare drop. So yeah, along with this as well. Great, they're all rare drops with the same drop uh, drop chances, so I'm mad about we'll get it soon. Get it. So after all that time, we did actually end up getting the adamant uh, hatchet, as it were. It took us overall about close to two hours just to pick up this one piece of gear um, but it's okay it's done now done and dusted the actual clip where I reacted to it um, ended up deleting itself but no, none of you can say I'm lying because Iron Man I can't yeah fight with that anyway I'm out uh, yeah hope you enjoy this and uh, yeah